welcome to a rainy day in Krakow. <laughs> Can you hear the trumpeter? One of my favourite things of Krakow. It's on the hour. So today is Monday the... 25th of May. We've been in Krakow for almost three months. We came for a week and we've stayed for three months thanks to coronavirus. We've been locked away for most of it, but we have started to get out and get to know the city a little bit, and um, we really love it. One of the many wonderful things we really like about Poland is, well, in the cities we've been to, we've noticed that the state museums always do a free museum day. So it's worth checking out on their websites and having a look what days are the free museum days. What day of the week? Often, what day of the week? Often, Mondays are free museum day, and in Kirkov, Free Museum Day on a Monday is for the Wawel Castle, which is the highlight of Krakow, really. Also, Schindler's Factory Monday, which... I think um, it's a Monday, yes. That's a Monday, but you need to get tickets in advance. Like, it's exceptional circumstances at the moment, but normally there's high demand. You've got to get tickets in advance. You've got to go online and get a ticket, but it is free on a Monday. Today, we're going to go to Wawel Castle, and we might go to, if we've got time, or not, if not next Monday, to the town hall clock tower there which is pretty incredible another great crack of landmark um, built in the 1500s or something like that it used to be the huge town hall now it's just the town hall tower and on monday you can go in for free Come through to the inner courtyard. It's raining, there's no one around, it's really quiet. Post Covid day. We think we can get into the armory for free today. We're going to try it out. So, we're going to pay a visit to the Crown Treasury and Armory in the corner of the castle. It normally costs 25 zloty to get in, but on Monday it's free. So we've come to the Crown Treasury and the Armoury in the centre of the castle. Now, certain exhibitions are open for free on a Monday. Today, uh, because of COVID-19, this is the only one that is open. Let's take a look inside. Some of the stuff they've got inside the Armoury is amazing. This, these things here were taken from the Ottoman Turks in the Battle of Vienna in 17, 1683. Some of the details, incredible. Because wasn't that as far as the as Ottomans the got? Turks got? Yeah, they got as far as the Carpathian Mountains in Vienna and all the spoils from the battles were taken by the Polish kings and kept. Here in the capital? Yeah, amazing. In this room, they've got the coronation swords of the kings of Poland from the 13th century. Amazing. Amazing. Was it mid 10th century? Early 10th century. Is it detail? So many of these things. We thought we'd finished and we were blown away by what we saw, but we realised there's just dozens of other rooms now, some on this floor and some downstairs. <laughs> Plenty of helmets and swords. Some of them interesting, some of them ridiculous. I quite 
Check out the tournament uh, one to the left. Mm. Wow. 16th century Austrian. Now we're moving into more modern warfare. Well, you've got your crossbows and things like that. Very impressive. This is like the pikes and cannons room. And copies of banners. Oh, mind the steps, mind the steps. Gosh. Some enormous cannons. Fascinating couple of hours in the um, armory. Very good. Now I can't get out. Don't give you light. Oh, and the sun's come out. The rain stopped. It's brilliant. Hundreds of years. This palace is the home of the kings and queens of Poland. And then the capital moved to Warsaw. So it's a lovely palace remained. It's worth coming up to the courtyard and just checking out the cathedral where the kings and queens were crowned and buried for 500 years or so. And to just enjoy the scenery around here. It's magnificent. So hate to um, support the evil empire, but let's be honest, rather than pay two zloty at least per person for a public toilet in Krakow, or in most European cities, go to McDonald's, get the cheapest item on the menu. We've got a cheeseburger, 450 zloty between us, and we could both use a toilet. So you know basically, I mean? so we've got a free burger. Yeah, and you sit down for a bit. Yeah. And you know, you relax. Actually, use I use the Wi Fi. I use the loot twice just to get my money's worth. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So now we've done that and on to round two of the Free Museum Day. Yep, for we the are. Town Hall Clock Tower. Let's go. So we have the opening hours. And you can see here, ah, oh gosh. Monday, admission free. Fantastic. We've been given a ticket and gloves, and now we can go up to the tower. On a normal tourist day in Krakow, this would be shoulder to shoulder. We've got the place for ourselves again. Incredible. I think this is the biggest workout I've had for about two months. Ooh. Getting a bit steep. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> okay there. Good. Wow. This is where the clock is. Atomic clock. So this is the top of the clock tower and the mechanism for the atomic clock. Raining again outside. Worth coming up here for the view alone. Stunning. Such a beautiful city. And there's a cloth all below. Two thirty we've been kicked out. It's supposed to close at three. Fantastic up there. It normally costs 12 Swati to go up and it's worth paying actually because the views are incredible and really interesting history of it. Clock tower.